Welcome back, Leia users. In this video tutorial, we're going over some basic editing. Okay, here we are in the mobile editor. No matter which kind of device you're editing on, a desktop or a mobile device, all you need to do to edit an element is to click on it. So we will click on this title here, and that will pull up this nice menu with all sorts of different editing options. So the first thing we can do is we can edit the text. We'll click this button, and then we're gonna click on this element again, and we can, let's say we wanna give it a more old timey feel. We'll call it a coffee shop. Excellent, moving down, we can edit the font size. You can use this uh, slider or you can enter in the box. You also have an option to update all elements like this one in the section. I think this is the only title in this section, so this is going to be the only element we're gonna be targeting in this example. But you can use the slider to make it larger or smaller. All right, uh, keep in mind if you do make edits like this on your page, you're gonna to wanna to check what it looks like in the other view. Since we're on mobile, we're gonna to look to see we're going to want to look to see what it looks like on a desktop device with a desktop view. We have another tutorial on that as well if you'd like to hear more about that. Excellent. And then you can also change the font family, which is going to bring up a box of different types of fonts. And you can click on those and get a little preview. See the title is changing. Excellent. And you can see that since we have this yes clicked, it's also changing the font size of the, or the font type of this subtitle. All right, so if we click no, it's just gonna target the title, and so on and so forth. If we decide we liked it the way it was, we'll just go back to the original font. We'll click this here, and there we are. Excellent, and again, you can edit the colors. You can edit the text color, that's the font color, and then the background color. If you edit the background color, it's going to fill in a box. You can see this pink line here, that'll It'll, whatever color you decide there. Right now it's black, but it's the, right now the, the black has no, no transparency. Um, so if you wanna, again, that's gonna bring up whichever kind of color picker you have, depending on what kind of device you're working on. All right, moving down the list, you can edit the alignment. So right now it's centered, you can send it to the left, you can send it to the right. Uh, let's keep it centered, it looks a lot better like that. And then uh, padding, let's look at this button to show you how padding works. So we're going to click on contact us on this button. And if we want to edit the padding, the padding will, oh, I accidentally clicked edit text. So we're going to click on the padding. And that's going to bring up left, right, top, and bottom padding. So padding is a distance between the element and the outside of its element. So here you go, for example, the top padding, this will open up. The, the distance between the, the words and the top of the button. Same thing with bottom. If we want to do make it a little wider, we can do that. And then, you know, left and right as well. So, yeah, it's just something you want to do to keep distance going on your page. And similar to that is margins. However, the margins are the edge of your element. So if we, if we edit the margins, we're going to move the distance between this element and the elements around it. So if we want to do the top margin, you see it'll move farther away from that subtitle that's above it. Same thing with the bottom margin. It's gonna move it farther away from that line down below. All right, I hope that clears up the difference between margins and padding. So we'll stay on the button here to edit the link. Links by default do not take you anywhere, but since this button says contact us, in order to take it to the contact section, down here at the bottom you can say, you can see it says here, it says hashtag contact, and that if we type in hashtag contact, that button will now bring your page visitors down to your contact section. And a couple other examples we have here, if you want, if you're, say your users are on a mobile phone, they can click it and it'll automatically initiate a telephone call. Just type in T-E-L colon and then your number, et cetera, et cetera. If you'd like to have your users easily send you an email, you can type in mail to colon and then your email address. And when they click on this, uh, whatever mail carrier they have automated on their device will pop up with your email address in the to section, example at email.com. Uh, excellent. Uh, again, if you're going to link to any other domains, which is going to require an update, you're going to want to make sure you put in HTTPS colon colon and then website.com and that will take your users to whichever website you have them linked to. Alrighty, I think that's it for now. Please check out our other tutorials for more topics. If you have any further questions about editing your site, feel free to send us an email to leah at vibesoftware.com or visit heylea.com slash contact. Thanks for watching.